morning, BGE says it has completed the in inspection of its equipment in the area of this week's deadly explosion in northwest Baltimore. It found all of its equipment has been operating safely and was not the cause of the explosion. Investigators are examining customer-owned gas piping and appliances at the scene. This is family and friends remember the two lives lost. Avid Joy Burnett has the emotional interview with the family of the 20-year-old victim. Watching my sister and brother and nieces go through this has been a nightmare. Christy Levi says she has to stay strong after her nephew, Joseph Graham, died in Monday's gas explosion. Joseph was such a sweet, smart, talented young man. His mother loved this photo of him, a studious shot of a young man who was in Morgan State University's electrical engineering program. He was just so positive. It just and motivational too. His baby sister now pledges to carry on his legacy. He had a dream to open up a restaurant and I'm a kind of like when I get older, I'm going to continue on with his dream. Graham was one of two people who died after his gas explosion leveled three homes in Labyrinth Road. Just this afternoon, the fire department identified the second victim who died, 61 year old Lonnie Harriet. The blast damaged cars more than a block away, a wave powerful enough to shift homes off their foundations. I felt like my neighbor's house shaking. So I felt the house lift up and just like shake, like almost similar to an earthquake, but not as quite. Inside images of people's homes started circulating online and with damages so severe affecting scores of people, there's a risk for scams. Mayor Jack Young tweeted that his team has learned of potential instances of predatory insurance and fraud contractors targeting residents in distress. As the neighborhood starts to rebuild after the blast, the families of the injured and those who died are trying to make sense of it all. And it's heartbreaking that um that um, we won't see some of the dreams that he often talked about and was on his way to achieve. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ. A new report is released on the gas explosion at a Columbia shopping center. This was the scene one year ago. The blast happened on Stanford Boulevard early on a Sunday morning. No one was hurt. The Maryland Public Service Commission says BGE's facilities involved in the accident never met the safety standards under state and federal law.